Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today, what I want to do is take some THD, some total harmonic distortion measurements on this Unity generator. I've been using it for this Class D amplifier. Just posted some videos showing some THD. And some viewers said, hey, well, what's the THD coming out of your generator? Which is a great idea. So, you know, we have to have a reference point, right? To see what the amplifier is amplifying. If, for instance, this is putting out 0.1% and the output of the amplifier is 0.1%, sounds like the amplifier didn't add anything. So we want to know what this guy's adding or, you know, what this guy's injecting into the input signal. And then the amplifier, you know, we could pretty much subtract what this guy's doing. You know, pretty close maybe. But anyway, it'd be nice to know have a reference point where we're starting from, right? And this is the U UTG962E generator. Uh, dual output, pretty nice. I like this size, pretty cool. So I'm gonna bring the camera over. We're gonna look at the generator and the Keith Lee, and we're just gonna take a look, see what we see. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, this is the Keith Lee, the 2015 THC multimeter. So I just go in this THC mode over here and then I go to measure and right now we got THC plus noise so I just enter and right now we're putting out one volt and it's one kilohertz so this meter will automatically select the frequency that it sees and take the THC from there so you can see 0.03 percent okay now here let me go down and change the amplitude I'm gonna go to two volts and then you just have to wait for it to settle in. So it's about, now some of these kind of bounce around. This one's like, you know, it goes all the way down from 0 0.06 to 0 0.09, 0 0.1 sometimes. But yeah, the THG plus noise, it takes a little bit to settle it in. And it does kind of bounce around because it's reading a bunch of noise. Okay, now let's go up to 7 volts. Okay, and that's 7 volts. Okay. So I'll go to 50 millivolts. These are all RMS values. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Uh, and I'm going to make a table of the THD. And then also what I can do is I can go to measure. And with the THD, I can just go just THD, enter that. And then... There's our harmonics, and what I'll do is I'll come over here, and I'll go to 12 harmonics. And I've experimented, and I don't see a 2 harmonics or 12 harmonics are changing. So, now this doesn't take into account the noise in between harmonics. It just uh, reads the harmonics. So, you'd always think this would always be a lower value than the uh, THC plus the noise. Okay, let's go ahead and put together a table, and let's see what we find. Hey guys, so what do you think? That... I don't think that looked too bad. That looked pretty good, I think. Now, I got a chart. I just went and uh, collected some data at different frequencies here. Let me show you this chart I made. All right, so here's the generator, the UTG962E. I used the Keithley 2015. And what I did is I took THD, made a column, and THC plus noise. Now, the THD, I got a little asterisk here. Uh, down here, it's including 12 harmonics. So one kilohertz, it's it's going out there, you know, far enough, I think. But I did two harmonics because that was kind of the default. And then I went up to 12. I didn't see any change. So I didn't see any reason going any higher than that. Now, um, so you can see the voltage levels I took. This is all in RMS, 50 millivolts RMS. When I was doing the one watt, I was somewhere around 50 millivolts. I was around 60, you know, just a little over that. And when I did the full power, I think I was closer to 600, 550 uh, millivolts. So I thought I'd cover these two, but it did take a little bit of a change through here. So I, I just collected the data at 500 millivolts, um, about 600, 500, 600. I, I put it right between there, went back and forth. And it didn't really change much. It was about 0.01% THD and about 0.02% THD plus noise. So 
yeah, I mean, things look pretty good all the way through. Now, the THG plus noise down here, you know, now I didn't go, uh, the, you know, I only went up to about 550, less than 600 millivolts when I got max power out. But, you know, another, in, in testing to follow, I might go up to one volt. So I wanted to collect that data, but it looked like it went from, it kind of jumped between 400 and 100. It really started creeping up right around one volt. So that it kind of ramped up and then it kind of stayed there. It kind of jumped up at seven volts. So seven volts are mass. It jumped up to 0.5. Okay, now let me explain something. I've got these numbers in black here. What happened was uh, these numbers here I collected with the class D amplifier still hooked up, the input signal still connected to the input of the class D, and then I put the THD meter at that input. So the input of the class D amplifier was in the circuit. And I think at seven volts, there's enough signal there that it was doing something at the input of that amplifier, turning something on, doing something that was creating this high uh, THD. So what I did is I disconnected it from the, the amplifier and just put the generator right into the uh, THD meter. Well, I mean, just disconnected from the input of the amplifier. So what I mean by that is I still had the, the, the cables, the BNC cables to alligator clips. All right, so the, the lead's coming from the THD meter, the Keith Lee. It has these little alligator clips, and then the BNC connector cable from the generator has its little clip-ons. So I just connected them right here and disconnected it from the amplifier. And when I did that, it turned out I started I was already down here and I saw oh it made a significant change it went from 0.5 to 0.037 so that was awesome then I went up to 2 volts and it was just below point when it was like 0 0.08 0 0.09 it was kind of bouncing around so it was still a little bit of an improvement there but once I got to 1 volt uh, then the numbers pretty much tracked what I had before so it seems like right around 2 volts to 7 volts uh, it was activating something at the input of the amplifier that was making the THC look higher. Now, what I'll do the next in the next video, I'm going to do the Bode plot of the phase gain relationship. I think we're going to look at the spectrum too. And when I do that, I think I'll have the THC meter hooked up as well. And I'll be monitoring the input uh, THD just to see when the class D amplifier actually has power of its own if these numbers drop. Okay, that would be kind of interesting. But yeah, so this is kind of what we're getting right now. The generator by itself is doing pretty good. Uh, it does have a little noise, of course. but and, the, and I was trying to include the setup noise with the cables and all that stuff too. Uh, so yeah, the THG plus noise collects everything it can read uh, with the bandwidth of the THC meter, which I think is 100 kilohertz. So, yeah, it, you know, it was doing pretty good. So, okay, and also the specification, I looked at that for the UTG 962E. It's, it says typical 0.2% um, THD. And so, you know, and it, and it calls out one volt. So that's, you know, it's kind of like on the amplifier. I said, you know, the one volt is usually the place, one volt, one kilohertz is usually the place they do that. And I got 0.15, so with the noise. And so the THD with noise is pretty closely matching what their spec is. Now, the other thing is what I did is at one volt, I took the frequency to all the way down to 20 hertz. I took, a, you know, spots on up and I went up to 20 kilohertz and I didn't see any change at all. So I imagine that each one of those voltages that it's probably not going to change once. I think it's the amplitude that affects the THD. I don't think the frequency seemed like it had uh, much effect on that. It's, my guess is it's the power supply or whatever inside the little generator as you change the signal the signal and noise or whatever you know there's something going on in the circuit that allows a little bit more distortion to get through but yeah i think it's uh, very usable so what do you guys think 
Hey, thanks patrons for supporting the channel and thanks everybody for watching the videos and commenting and all that stuff and give a thumbs up if you like it. That uh, really helps the YouTube analytics. Appreciate that. And uh, okay guys, we'll see you in the next video. I'm going to do a body plot on this amplifier and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, hopefully it's nice and flat. I expect it will be and I'm curious what frequency. I think it said it had a brick wall at 20 kilohertz, so that would be interesting to see if it goes out 20k and just crashes. Alright, so we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.